Theranos founder Elizabeth Holmes was well aware that her company's blood testing machines couldn't perform as advertised but continued to go to great lengths to deceive investors and the public, modifying third-party devices and even producing a doctored report from Pfizer, a federal prosecutor said in the opening statements of her fraud trial on Wednesday. Elizabeth Holmes was well aware of these problems, Leach said, adding that the false and misleading statements were enormously successful. The defendant's fraudulent scheme made her a billionaire. The scheme brought her fame, it bought her honor and it brought her adoration. Holmes' defense team is set to present their opening statements later on Wednesday. Holmes faces a total of 12 charges, 2 counts of conspiracy to commit wire fraud and 10 counts of wire fraud, for allegedly engaging in a multi-million dollar scheme to deceive investors, doctors and patients from 2010 to 2016 alongside Theranos former CEO Ramesh Sunny Bawani, with whom she was romantically involved. If found guilty, they could be sentenced to up to 20 years in prison and hit with a $250,000 fine, in addition to restitution, for each count. Holmes and Bilwani have both pleaded not guilty and are standing trial separately. Bilwani's trial is set to begin January 2022. The trial, which is taking place at a federal courthouse in San Jose, is expected to last between three and four months, with a potential witness list featuring some of America's most powerful politicians and business people. Among those who could be called to the stand by the prosecution are former Secretary of State Henry Kissinger, who was a Theranos board member, and media mogul Rupert Murdoch, an investor. Holmes lawyers submitted a list of dozens of possible defense witnesses late Tuesday which included former employees, Food and Drug Administration officials and powerful board members like former CDC Director William Fahey and former Senate Majority Leader William Frist. Holmes was also on the list as she may choose to testify. Board members, billionaires and a journalist, here's who Elizabeth Holmes lawyers could call to testify, Forbes.